ever wondered about the current state of HIV treatment and its challenges? Let's dive into it. HIV, a notorious virus, has been a global health concern for decades. Antiretroviral therapy, or RT, has been our primary weapon against it. Effectively controlling the virus and preventing its progression to AIDS, it's a significant milestone, no doubt. But here's the catch. It's not a cure. You see, HIV has a sneaky way of integrating itself into the host's genome. It's like an unwanted houseguest who not only overstays his welcome, but also finds a way to permanently move into your spare room. This integration makes it impossible to completely clear the virus from the body, even with the most potent antiretroviral drugs. So, we find ourselves in a constant battle, managing the disease, but not fully eradicating it. While current therapies manage the disease, they can't completely eliminate the virus. But could there be a more effective solution on the horizon? Enter CRISPR-Cas9, a revolutionary gene editing tool that might hold the key to a potential cure. Let's break it down. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. And Cas9 is a type of enzyme. Together, they form a system that can be thought of as a pair of molecular scissors, able to cut DNA at precise locations. But it's not just about cutting, it's also about pasting. Once the DNA is cut, scientists can insert, delete, or replace genes, essentially rewriting the genetic code. Imagine being able to correct a typo in a book, but the book is the blueprint of life. This gene editing tool is derived from a defense mechanism bacteria use against viruses, but its applications are far broader. From agriculture to medicine, CRISPR-Cas9 is changing the world as we know it. In essence, CRISPR-Cas9 grants scientists the ability to rewrite the blueprints of life. But how does this apply to HIV treatment? V. Research has shown that CRISPR-Cas9 could be used to target HIV-1 genome activity. This is a game-changing revelation in the field of medical science. Let's break it down a bit. The HIV virus, once it enters the body, integrates its genetic material into the host's genome. This is what makes it so challenging to eliminate, and why, despite the effectiveness of antiretroviral therapy, a cure for HIV has remained elusive. Here's where CRISPR-Cas9 comes in. This powerful gene editing tool can specifically target the HIV-1 genome within the host's cells. By doing so, it can inactivate HIV gene expression and replication. What's even more remarkable is that CRISPR-Cas9 can achieve this without any toxic effects. This is crucial as it means the treatment wouldn't harm the cells it's trying to save. But the possibilities don't end there. Imagine if we could not only treat HIV but also immunize cells against future infection. That's exactly what CRISPR-Cas9 has the potential to do. By modifying the genetic material of the cells, it could essentially build a defense mechanism against HIV-1. So, what does all this mean? In layman's terms, CRISPR-Cas9 could be the key to unlocking a cure for HIV. It could potentially overcome the current problem of eliminating HIV from infected individuals. Yes, this technology is still in its early stages, and further refinement is needed. But the potential it holds is undeniable and could revolutionize the way we approach HIV treatment. So, what does this mean for the future of HIV treatment? The potential of the CRISPR-Cas9 system in treating HIV is immense. It opens up a whole new world of possibilities where we could potentially eradicate HIV from the body rather than just controlling it with antiretroviral therapy. This could be the dawn of a new era in HIV treatment. One way this could be achieved is through gene therapies. By using the CRISPR-Cas9 system, we could alter the genetic makeup of the HIV virus within the body, essentially turning off its ability to replicate. This would mean the virus could no longer spread within the body, halting the progression of the disease. Another exciting possibility is the transplantation of genetically altered bone marrow stem cells. By modifying these cells to be resistant to HIV, we could replace the patient's existing bone marrow with these new 
HIV-resistant cells. This could mean a life free from the constant threat of HIV. Lastly, inducible pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCs, could also be used. These are cells that can turn into any type of cell in the body. If we could create iPSCs that are resistant to HIV, we could potentially replace any HIV-infected cells in the body. With further refinement, CRISPR-Cas9 could revolutionize the treatment of HIV, bringing us a step closer to a potential cure.